And welcome back to another daily devotion. I am Pastor Roy here at Woodlawn Christian Church in Lake City, Iowa, and this devotion is for Tuesday, September 12th of 2023. We are in the book of 2 Timothy. We started 2 Timothy just yesterday. We took the first seven verses. Today we're going to deal with five more. We're going to go verses 8 to 12. I've divided it in the middle of a paragraph or at the end of a paragraph. Um, I don't know why I did that. I just do what I do sometimes. Um, but we're going to try to keep this one fairly concise today. So let's jump right in and try to keep this one reasonable sized. Do not be ashamed then of testifying to our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel and the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not in virtue of our works, but in virtue of his own purpose and the grace which he gave us in Christ Jesus ages ago. And now has manifested through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and teacher, and therefore I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am sure that he is able to guard until the day that has been entrusted to me. Okay, we talked about not being timid yesterday. Well, here we're not to be ashamed. Don't be timid because you're ashamed, for certainly not. Um, and what would we be ashamed of? I mean, why would in the world would we be ashamed of Jesus? Well, he was one, one thing. First of all, we would be talking about him as having been crucified. And crucifixion, being crucified, was not a, a very respectful, it was not a dignified way to be killed. It was, in fact, the least dignified way you could be executed in the Roman world. Um, and that was done with runaway slaves and political prisoners. And, and so it was, it was a very, very um, demeaning way of being executed, which is precisely why they chose it. So, um, but we're not to be ashamed of that. In fact, we revel in that. And we revel in that fact that he was brought low and to rise above, um, that he was promised ages ago. Uh, that's the Old Testament. The promise of Christ in the Old Testament was Paul's talking about here, not talking about uh, Christ's life on earth. In fact, he later says that, and now has manifest through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus. That is the the first coming. Now, there will be a second coming someday, and there's only two comings, first coming and second coming. Don't get confused by that. Um and through his first coming, he abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The gospel is the story of Jesus, the coming into the world, dying on the cross, the resurrection, the substitutional sacrifice. That's the gospel. The good news, as they say, is the gospel. And it literally means good news. Um, so do not be ashamed. And don't be ashamed also of Paul. Paul is suffering. And, and in fact, he tells them, uh, that they are going to suffer, in fact, um, but share in suffering for the gospel and the power of God. Oh, wonderful thing to look forward to. Not only am I uh, uh, supposed to be bold about it, I'm not supposed to worry, I'm not supposed to be ashamed uh, of, of all of this. I'm supposed to go whole-headed, uh, what do I want to say, full, full steam ahead, that's what I'm trying to say, uh, into this, knowing that I'm going to be persecuted knowing that uh, I could be imprisoned just as Paul is, and, and Paul will later be executed. Um, at least that's what we believe. We don't have for, for certainty of that, but it seems to be the most likely thing that he and Peter both were executed in Rome as political prisoners by Nero. But I digress. The point here is we're not to be ashamed of all of this. We're supposed to be bold. We talked about that yesterday. Do not have a spirit of timidity. Don't have a spirit of being ashamed either. Go out with confidence. You may not want pride, perhaps, but but certainly filled with the faith that, that Jesus is the Messiah. He is the promised one. Um, and it, this is why we have been called to share the good news. And we are not to be ashamed um, of anything, not even ashamed of our own past, um, because none of us are, are worthy to spread the word. Um, and that would be part of the message of Paul also, is the least likely uh, can be the ones that will take up the, the, the mantle and spread the gospel. Um, so don't be worried about your own past. Be not ashamed of your own past. You can, or even your own future, your own circumstances presently. Paul was in prison again. Um, be bold. Do not be ashamed. Go out and spread the good news that has been entrusted to all of us, not just Paul. The good news has been entrusted to us, that promise that Jesus will come again and that we will all reside with him throughout eternity. All right, 
that's what I've got for you today. I have to kept it right around five minutes. If you enjoy these devotions, please do like and subscribe. We'd love to have you back with us. Have a blessed day and please be a blessing to someone today. God loves you. Take care. Bye-bye.